this. Members of the Ladies Philopta Host Society are busy cooking up sweet Greek treats at Holy Trinity St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church. Joining me now, a couple of members of the society, Melanie McNulty and Carrie Petro. Ladies, welcome. Thank Good you. to see you. I, there is nothing I love more than some baklava. Well, that's one of the things you are making, right? <laughs> yes. First, tell me a little bit about your society, the Philopta Host. What does that What does that mean? It means uh, like philanthropy. Okay. We're, we're a friend of the poor. That's kind of oh. our slogan. All and right. so we do a lot of um, you know donating outreach uh, programs locally and through our national philoptical society. So um, you know all everything we make from our pastry sale goes out oh, that's to the really different nice. groups that we okay. donate to. So this is a, this is something you do every year we've at done this it time, since, right? Yes, we've done it since 2002. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of a, a you know, a money maker for us to, to so that we can help others. But also people at the Paniyiri would say, oh, I wish you'd do a pastry sale in mm -hmm. the, you know, some other time of the year so we right. can get Greek pastries. So that's what it came up to. Well, uh, we're looking at some pictures. Uh, I mean, this is, this is the kind of thing I love. You get all the, the women who are carrying on this tradition of cooking, whether it be Italian or Greek or whatever, you know, ethnicity. But for you, it's the Greek folks. And how many different women um, work on these pastries? And how long does it take you to make everything for the sale? For our sweet treats from uh -huh. the Greeks, uh, we took about six days of baking. We get volunteers who come in. Sometimes we get as many as 15 or 20 women. Yeah. And we just keep cooking until they're made okay. or the dough runs out. Yeah. But so it's a wonderful way of just being together and doing something great for the church. Yeah. So you brought in an example of some of the, and I mentioned baklava, but there are a whole bunch of different things mm -hmm. on this. Do you want to give me a little sure. a little tour? Sure. Okay, what's this powdered okay. thing up here? This is kurabiede, and um, basically it's, yeah, a nice crisp cookie inside and mm. covered with, uh, obviously, confectioner's sugar. Yeah, and what are these this ones with the jelly? This is pasta jellies? flora. We've got two different kinds. Okay. This is uh, a butter cookie around there, and this is um, apricot and raspberry. Oh, what's this nutty looking one here? Melamacarina. Uh -huh. It's a spice cookie with uh, honey dripped <laughs> over yeah. it and the walnuts. What are the ones that the look top. like mini wheats or like, you know, wheat cereal almost? Yeah. What are those? Those are kataifi. Okay. And, I love the um, names. It's a shredded uh, phyllo dough like what you'd use for the baklava oh, okay. and then it's it's walnuts inside and and again honey. And then there's one more, this little kulareikia. That's a, a great cookie to have, you know, with co coffee or whatever. It's a butter cookie, crisp, and, you, uh, you know, with an egg wash over the top. Oh, so instead of baking this weekend yourself, just go to the sweet treats from the Greeks. Friday, it's from 10 to 6, Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday, noon to 3, at the Holy Trinity St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church on Witten Road. It, it smells wonderful. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. And Enjoy. Thank yeah. you. And good luck with the sale. Thank Merry you. Merry Christmas.